Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's quite so, nice. So, oh, one. that's great. That's just great. And there's another. See, they're just everywhere. Oh, what a delight. <laughs> what good timing. Oh, this is so cool. We're adapting Ingrid's Networks of New York guide to the London infrastructure landscape. It's titled Networks of London, so documenting some of the, the smaller, easily unnoticed parts of uh, the internet that pass through cities that we generally kind of like walk past without really thinking about it. It's a telegraph one. Oh. But, so you can see kind of the very old telegraph companies and the kind of modern virgin uh, media fiber run along the exact same routes alongside each other and usually kind of uh, one replaces the other. Actually, you can kind of see where this one's ducks are probably, look, if you look at kind of these lines in the concrete that are happening right here. Yeah, look at it go, <laughs> look at it go. Just follow the data to your dreams. I think at this point, it seems as though people have kind of come to accept that online and IRL are, are false distinctions. Like there isn't really a difference in terms of the life you live on the internet and the life you live in, in so-called like real life. And yet the, the objects and the systems themselves still seem very divorced from real life. Do wanna, wait, do you want to give me a lift up? Like... <laughs> really? Yeah. I work as a software developer and web developer. So much of what I produce is kind of quite intangible, but actually there are these large structures kind of built into the fabric of the city that are the things that uh, I am using. And it's uh, quite nice just to be able to go out and see where my work is actually taking place. So there's two parts, I guess, to our, our piece of the exhibition. One is um, a small kind of takeaway map that'll have the area around Somerset House and have marked out some interesting things to go look for and annotated with a few different examples of, of indicators of internet infrastructure that, that anyone can look for themselves. And the other part is, is a wall display. Kind of like a half a blend between the kind of like tourist maps that you get and kind of like I spy guides that you might have as a kid, giving you like a list of things to go spot. Oh, this one's quite good because you can yeah, see it coming away from there. Yeah. Here we can see spray paint um, emanating out of this, this BT manhole in a few direction and they basically are just indicators of where ducts of telecommunications cables are, are actually traveling. Oh, here we go. Oh. These are the duct width markings. Running right, right along this clearly cut out piece of, of road at the exact right width is, is a telecom duct. Once you kind of understand how a system works, you kind of understand how who it works for, how it's used against you in certain situations. Finding the like kind of real geography, a lot of these systems is a good way to kind of understand access and control and ownership. It's sometimes taken for granted that, that they are not actually ours or the public's the way that people think it might be if you say public internet. Having a, an object that you can take into the world and go look for these things yourself with is it's, um, it's less about having some kind of perfect map of the material and more about um, having a different experience of, of the city.